a hike and we're about 35 minutes late. We headed out for the Iron Creek Trailhead to hike to Sawtooth Lake. It's a 10 mile out and back hike that we heard was one of the best in the Stanley area, if not the best day hike. The parking lot was just about full by 7.30 on a Saturday morning, which we were expecting. Most of the trail is in the Sawtooth Wilderness. Now that means all day hikers and backpackers have to carry a permit and you can just fill it out right at the trailhead. That doesn't work. We're only starting about an hour later than we planned, which isn't the worst. This is one of the most popular hikes in the area, so the trail was pretty busy, especially because it was a weekend, but we did have some long sections all to ourselves. The elevation gain is about 1,800 feet, but the first couple miles of the hike are really gradual, just a little buggy. Oh, killed him. They're getting me. It's starting to heat up. It was 38 degrees when we got in the truck this morning on July 16th. It's definitely like at least 60 right now, maybe even 65, but it looks like it's maybe about to get a little bit steeper. We'll see. Our dog Luna is like terrified of water and any water crossing, it's either just takes a long time to get her across or Cole has had to carry her in the past. <laughs> I fell once. Oh! It's not good. So I'm glad we're not dealing with that today. Yeah, so we didn't bring our dogs just because 10 miles is getting to be a little too long for our 10 year old dog, but we definitely miss them on this day. Woo! After that water crossing, the trail got rockier with some switchbacks and steep sections, but also more amazing views. Now eventually you'll come to a fork in the road. Now this is where you can break off to check out Alpine Lake and we highly recommend that. You'll see why in a second. We're gonna go this way. Sawtooth, Alpine. I know this isn't like the main attraction lake, but the water is so clear. I wish it showed up as well on camera. You can see like logs at the bottom in the middle of the lake from where we're standing on the shore. Morale is struggling right now. We've hit that point in the trail where we just like want to be to the top. And it's hot and it's steep up here. This last push is definitely the hardest part of the trail so far. Just a little steep, a little rocky. I think we're almost there. The last stretch of the main trail includes quite a few steep switchbacks, but we also found some snow to help cool us down. Was not expecting to see snow on July 16th. Snow, yet I still have flies <laughs> swarming me. Finally, the trail opened up to the lake, but we actually realized this isn't the spot to check out the lake. We still had to take the trail a little bit farther along the edge of Sawtooth Lake.
hot take while we're up here. It's beautiful. We actually liked the first lake, which is just called Alpine Lake, a little bit more than this. It was just a little more scenic, scenic and more like mystical vibes. Like it felt more secluded than this. Yeah. Yeah, how are you? <laughs> okay, so that was a bizarre experience. Yes, we just encountered goats. What, four goats? Yeah. And the collars and bells on. Before I started recording, I said to the woman, I was like, oh my goodness, there are goats up here? And she was like, yeah. Did not seem to think that was odd. Didn't seem interested in chatting about why the goats were there. She was with the She goats. was with the goats. So if somebody knows why we might encounter goats on a walk, on a trail in Idaho, please tell us, because that was a first in our hiking experience. Pretty cool though. They were sweet. Now that we got our cold plunge in, my hair is still wet. Review of the hike, it was good. Solid B plus. I don't feel like I would wanna do it again. I think one time is enough. I think it's a really good option if you're looking for a longer day hike that isn't too difficult, but is still definitely a challenge and has great views at the end. So yeah we're gonna be pretty sore but we did it and uh now we get to look at another beautiful lake view from our campsite here so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to subscribe to our channel we post these type of videos adventure videos and also a lot of rv life stuff so follow along on our journey we appreciate it